So GameStop got another bump today. Uh, I don't know if this is real. I don't know. If, I don't know what it is. Uh, that Roaring Kitty guy showed up. You know, you remember him? He was the the meme guy that showed up and was doing all the. He was rallying all the Reddit people and such. Well, he shows up, gets a nice big bump. So I don't know if this is just a, a little, you know, flash in the pan or if this is a real thing. We'll have to see. But uh, I'm going to read this article. It's CNBC. Yeah, CNBC is CNBC. But let's see what they have to say. GameStop, AMC soar more than 70% each as Roaring Kitty meme traders resurfaces. So GameStop and AMC sh shares rallied dramatically on Monday after Roaring Kitty, the man who inspired the epic short squeeze of 2021, posted online for the first time in roughly three years. The post, a picture on X of a video gamer leaning forward on their chair as if to indicate He's taking the game seriously. Marked Roaring Kitty's first po post on the platform or on Reddit since 2021. The post has garnered 63,000 likes in 13 hours. GameStop soared 74.4% after soaring as much as 110%. Trading in GameStop was halted multiple times due to volatility. AMC also caught the trading frenzy, ending Monday's session up a whopping 78.4% after doubling uh, in price at one point. Reddit gained nearly 9%. So Roaring Kitty, whose legal name is Keith Gill, is a former marketer for Massachusetts Mutual Life Insurance. Ah, figures he's a shady life insurance salesman. <laughs> I used to be one. Uh, also known as Deep F Value on Reddit, Gill drew an army of day traders who cheered each other on and piled into the brick and mortar video game stock and GameStop call options between 2020 and 2021. The meme stock frenzy involved in individual investors taking aim at short sellers and hedge funds who were pessimistic about the outlook for GameStop and other companies, forcing them to cover their short positions and drive up the price of the tar target stocks. Currently, the short position in GameStop shares amounts to more than 24% of all its shares that are freely available to trade, also known as the float. Gill later posted a few videos with scenes from popular TV shows and movies, but there's no clear indication of what they mean. GameStop was the most talked about stock on Reddit's Wall Street bets, by far on Monday, with more than 600 mentions in the last 24 hours, surpassing the popular chip maker NVIDIA, or NVIDIA uh, according to market research platform Quiver Quantitative. Melvin Capital felt the wrath of the Wall Street bet, uh, Wall Street bet traders. The hedge fund was heavily shorting GameStop and became a target of the army of amateur, uh, amateur traders suffering huge losses that prompted Ken Griffith's Citadel, as well as 0.72 to backstop Melvin's finances with close to $3 billion in support. Short selling is a strategy in which investors borrow shares of a stock at a certain price and in expectations that the market value will fall below that level when it's time to pay for the borrowed shares. The GameStop mania that drove its stock above 120 a share split adjusted in nearly 2021 from as little as $3 in the space of three months forced brokers, including Robinhood, to limit trading and hit heavily shorted stocks. And if you remember that whole Robinhood debacle, they just literally stopped. They stopped allowing trading of it. It was real shady. It was bad, bad stuff. Um, they kind of just got away with it. So if, if you're interested in, in that, look it up. You'll see what I'm talking about. They, uh, that was a real shady move, but that's what they're referring to. In response, one Robinhood user filed a class action lawsuit against the app's decision to restrict GameStop trading on its platform. The suit was dismissed in August 2023. The volatility spewed or spawned a, a series of congressional hearings around brokers' practices and gamifying retail trading, and testimony from leaders of Robinhood, Melvin Capital, uh, Reddit, and Citadel, as well as Gill. The entire episode finally inspired the 2023 movie Dumb Money, in which Paul Dano played Gill. Yeah, that's a good watch, actually. I watched that a little while back. But um, yeah. He's back. I, I thought he had some kind of like sort of gag order to stop. Um, but maybe that expired. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But this Roaring Kitty guy's shown back up. And so this might be another hot move on the GameStop and AMC train. I don't know. If you get on board that thing, though, you could lose some money. Or you might gain some. I don't know. I'm not telling you what to do here. Just telling you what's up. So uh, invest wisely.